If you only check in on track and field every four years for the Olympic Games, then Trayvon Bromel's status as Tokyo favorite in the 100 meters seems normal. Five years ago in Rio, Bromel was one of the sport's young stars, making the finals of the 100 at just 21 years of age. A career of success was in front of him. As he enters these Olympic Games, Bromel is the favorite and has looked unbeatable. He dropped his personal best to 9.77 seconds and hasn't lost a 100 meter final. But in between these two Olympics, Bromel was anything but guaranteed to return to high level sprinting. In fact, retirement looked more likely than standing on the medal podium again. In high school, Bromel became the first prep to break 10 seconds when he ran a wind aided 9.99 in the 100. As a freshman at Baylor, he broke the world junior record in the 100, running 9.97 seconds to win the NCAA championships. His sophomore season, he lowered his personal best to 9.84, made the world championship team, and took home a bronze medal in Beijing. He went pro shortly after. Bromel kept things rolling in 2016. He won the world indoor championships in the 60 meters, and outdoors he equaled his lifetime best in the 100 at the Olympic trials, finishing second in 9.84 seconds. In the short term, Bromel was again ready to contend for a medal. Long term, his trajectory looked even more promising, poised to take over as the fastest man in the world once Usain Bolt stepped aside. But then, things got complicated. That spring, Bromel had been dealing with a bone spur next to his Achilles tendon. He kept racing. In Rio, Bromel was able to make the Olympic final, but finished eighth. The pain came to its climax in the 4x100 meter relay when Bromel fell to the ground at the finish line and needed a wheelchair to exit the track. After the Olympics, Bromel had surgery, but the problem didn't subside. He didn't race at all in 2017 leading into the USATF championships and was eliminated in the first round. He had surgery again and missed all of the 2018 season. When he came back in 2019, he still couldn't race at a high level. In his second meet back, he injured his adductor muscle. His season was over again. Entering 2020, it had been three years since he broke 10 seconds in the 100. Off the track, he was struggling as well. Bromel spoke about going down a real dark alleyway. He contemplated retirement. His coach at the time, Michael Ford, told NBC, I thought he may quit. But things began to turn. Bromel switched coaches to Rainer Ryder, who has built a reputation for rehabilitating athletes and getting them back to a high level. Bromel's first races of 2020 were nothing spectacular, but he was healthy. Then in the summer, he got cooking. On the 4th of July, he ran 10.04, by far his best performance since 2016. 20 days later, he took it up another notch, running 9.90 and beating Noah Lyles. After another strong showing in August with a wind dated 9.87, it was clear the old Bromel was back. But with the COVID-19 pandemic pushing the Olympics back a year, could Bromel stay the course through 2021? Turns out, he was even better. Bromel ripped through the indoor season, winning two of his three finals. Outdoor, he's undefeated in the 100 with convincing wins over Noah Lyles and Andre de Grasse. His start at the USATF Golden Games was the track equivalent to a first round haymaker, effectively ending the race after 20 meters. It also showed no signs of hesitation from Bromel, no lingering effects that he's cautious after injury. At the beginning of June, Bromel ran 9.77 to smash his personal best. Only six men in history have run faster. Usain Bolt, Tyson Gay, Johan Blake, Asafa Powell, Justin Gatlin, and Christian Coleman. It was more evidence that the new Bromel has been upgraded to better than what we saw in 2015 and 2016. Because of his absence from the sport, there'll be a tendency to focus on what Bromel missed out on. But he's just 26 years old, and with five major championships on tap between 2021 and 2025, there's reason to believe this next chapter will be Bromel's best.